Hello, hello, Nanette. Hello. How are you today? Good, thank you, Kinga. How are you? I'm good too. Yes. Nanette, today, like I invited you because I wanted to have with you really like nice woman, uh, to woman conversation. Yes. About uh, your life, your changes uh, during the program and after the program, how to attract your life partner uh, with me. But before we jump into anything, let us know, yes, uh, who you are, like what you do, something about yourself. Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Nanette. I am in IT, I do software support, and um, I recently gone into the um, healing uh, path um, and uh, doing massage therapy. Awesome, yes. And I use already an internet service and I completely recommend it. So anyone watching, especially like women, but not only, if you like the, the good deep tissue remedial massage, Nanette is the one, yes, she's based in Sydney, so I'm the lucky one, and I love it because it's really strong and to the point, yes, but also, yeah, also very, very releasing. So thank you so much, Nanette, for introducing yourself, and uh, let's start from the beginning, actually, yes, what sparks you, like, what resonates with you that you decided to connect with me, yes, and have that first, you know, free breakthrough call with me? <laughs> what are the songs? Cooper <laughs> wants to play, sorry. Oh, your dog wants to play. <laughs> That's hilarious, yes, because we, we are having fun too, yes, and he's like, I want to join. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about this. It's okay. It's okay. So, so what was the question again? Yeah, like, um, what was the reason, like, why you decided to connect with me? Yes, and hop on a call with me for that, you know, first, first free call. Yeah. Um. So I've I've heard you talking with people and how you respond to them, and I thought, okay, yeah, that that sounds. Um, that makes sense. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, I think that resonates with me. And I thought maybe she can do something for me. So yeah, that's why I reached out to you. Yes. And what was that thing that, you know, that really resonate with you when you heard me, you know, talking yes to other people? Do you remember what was that? Something like, you know, that, yeah, resonated with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, sorry. That's um, okay. But yeah, usually it would be something like um, something about their relationship or um, something about interaction with people mm -hmm. and um, pointing out things within ourselves. And sometimes I know that the, the, the person you'd be talking to wouldn't like the, the answer that that they heard from you but I thought no that really makes sense and like yeah it's it's still within me like if, if you were talking to me then it's like yeah that was something that would have been within me that um so I could have been acting out or um yeah just reacting because of my own issues yes and not realizing it but but you highlighted that to that person you were talking to her that really makes sense sometimes yes yes and that that's actually my main thing to be really honest and tell people like those blind spots because yeah. if we don't know what we don't know we're not going to change it yes True. we're not yes. going to help ourselves and I wanted to hear that like in the past yes from my you know mentors that helped me yes although it, like it was very uncomfortable at the beginning but it's so beneficial yeah. yes and it's maybe good also you know to observe it especially at the beginning from that you know that side is like Oh, that makes sense. Yes, mm -hmm. that really yeah. makes sense. 
And when, like, uh, when we had that first call, uh, do you remember what was the main reason that you decided to go ahead with that? Yes, with the program. Well, uh, the, the idea is to um, find your person. And that was the whole sort of premise of your program and be, be able to find, uh, have a relationship with someone. So I thought that, that I'm, I'm looking for that. And mm. so I thought, yeah, um, I'll give this a go. Yes, wonderful. And uh, I know that like you knew already, yes, because you are like quite advanced when it, com when it comes to personal development and also training that it wasn't just about finding that partner, yes? So let's be honest and make it clear for everyone like watching that, yes? Mm -hmm. That I'm not a matchmaker, yes? It's <laughs> not about that. <laughs> True, yeah, that's right. It's, it's, it's helping me uh, develop myself, realize things about myself and um, open myself up to, to, the world basically and just be open be myself be be authentic yes and, yeah. and what was the like you know the key points the like the biggest breakthrough for you because i remember during the program yes you were like a little bit hesitating there sometime yes like you know blocking there was like some breakthrough and but then also like holding back and then like massive breakthrough yes so yeah. let's share that like that key breakthrough for you that was like for you the most beneficial yes from the beginning that what you remember the biggest that I can think of really is the realization that I wanted a baby. Mm, I, that's I, the big I, one. I had not, I, I've, I've put that like in the back burner. It's like, no, I don't want any, I don't want a child anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm too old. I'm too, <laughs> too, it, it will be too difficult to raise a child so no all the conditioning yeah. right yeah. all that so beliefs like, from the society no. and yeah. then um that there was so right the day right after the day after we had a session i was in the office and i actually like um was having a conversation with a friend and we got to talking about um possibly you know, I can still have a bear child <laughs> and then um, my friend goes like well you can maybe be a surrogate for me mm -hmm. I thought no not really because um, I figured that if I carried a baby for, for nine months I would want to keep it and then suddenly this feeling I, it, it was just like an energy there was something around my chest mm. and I just wanted to hold it and I mm. realized it felt like a baby and I thought mm. do I want a baby it's like hang on well really <laughs> so yeah so when I told you that you and I asked you it's like so what do I do with this knowledge now <laughs> and you just said yeah just feel just um accept that realization just mm. let it into yourself let just absorb it and let it settle in and yeah before making any decision yeah. yes or like or yeah. going into that fear and scarcity again it's like yeah. oh my gosh like what's happening really owning yeah it's like yeah i feel that this mm -hmm. is my truth it's yeah. not the beliefs it's not the society it's not like yeah the conditioning mm -hmm. this is my deep truth yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, beautiful I'm feeling like emotional right now and I remember <laughs> that moment when you said that to me because even like during that session the day before like I was when I was channeling yes uh you I felt so deeply like that womb opening but it, like I was like holding that space and to you and so like whenever she's ready yes it will unfold so yeah. the next day when you text it to me it's like oh my gosh yes. <laughs> this is real this is really happening 
So yes, yeah. that was like yeah, really big breakthrough for you to open up also to that feeling. Yes, because yeah. it's not about just like I want that baby, but it's like well, like when you feel it in your body, in every cell, your heart, your stomach, your womb. Yes. Yeah. Like, what's the difference? Yes, for you to feel it. It's it's a happy feeling like mm -hmm. wow i i wanted it all along so yeah yes because yeah. this is the space that we want to be all the time yes mm -hmm. in that state of being yes, yes. yes. yeah and yeah. it's so different because like when we stay in the head yes we jump from one to another and it's like you know it's like ups and down yes and when you open up to your truth it's a constant flow yeah 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 mm -hmm. it's like a bless yeah <laughs> <laughs> what also was like for you another breakthrough yes during the program if you remember something really like wow I remember. <laughs> okay. Can you give me a hint? I can't remember. It was remember. one of the, the end, yes, when you were like sharing also with uh, other women that Kinga kept telling me, feeling, feeling, and finally I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you referring to love? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm referring to love. So let's focus on the love and the relationship right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I I have met someone, and um, I am now in a relationship. <laughs> yes, and say it like woo. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I know that for Nanette, it's so new. Yes, and. <laughs> Also, to be clear, like Nanette, how long have you been single before? Yes? Uh, since 2013. Yes, yeah, so quite a few years. Yes, and you <laughs> were dating some people, but nothing was serious. That's yeah? right. Well, I've, I've been trying to find someone and it's like, uh, okay, no, next, um, next next it it kept being like that like it's like oh maybe this one no next <laughs> so, yeah yeah what change now yes that you really step into that relationship and despite it's new you already said yes to to me when you shared that you never ever felt like that before yeah but it comes from you with yeah. another person of course yeah, yeah? Yeah, so I, I did tell Kinga, I have never felt like that before for someone, um, not even my ex. And I have, no one has ever made me feel that way, the way mm. that I'm feeling now. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess it started with like just communication being open um and realizing the other person wanted the same thing and they happen to be i guess uh, worked on themselves as well and that's why we were on the same web wavelength and we just connected and yeah it, it just that connection was so strong that um this all happened just before oh, sorry um we met just we started talking just before the lockdown and so yeah. it was difficult that like you couldn't meet up and so it was just all texting messaging phone phone calls video calls um and yeah it, it was just such a connection that uh, we we thought no we, we we have to meet we 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 have to know if how it is like face to face and it was there it was even bigger 
and so we still chatted and took a, a bit more of conversation and we just realized that yeah we we, we both feel the same way yes yes and i want to also say because these days especially you know like uh, wherever you are yes like for those watching like lockdown is not an excuse yes <laughs> and that can say something about it yes because yeah. once you open up completely yes to that possibilities your heart were open your body were open to feel as well you like yes let's go for that yeah yeah yes and i want to like ask you like how like what you felt different for yourself, yes? Why did you make that decision, like go, you know, so deep with that conversation, that communication, and also, you know, that end up like as a beautiful relationship? It just goes back down to communication and openness and being authentic. And, and mm. so authentic just... with yourself as well, yes? yes. Yeah. Because I remember that during like the program, you had lots of self-reflections, yes? Mm -hmm. And we were like, when we were talking between even uh, our sessions, like you were like self-reflecting and like sometimes asking me about, yes, things and then it's like, oh yes, yes. But it's not just a talk, but you need to be ready, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And that readiness, <laughs> where did you feel that readiness came from for you? What do you because, mean? like, you felt that it came from like your heart, your like, you know, your mind, or both together, or somewhere else. That, like, yes, I want that. It, it. I guess it was mainly the heart. It was feeling, but then I had. I. I am a very analytical person, so. To be to to allow myself to, for the heart to lead was like okay, and like, so I my head had to uh, have a little bit of a say in it. So, yes. Yeah. But and yeah. yeah. But yeah, it it was mainly um, the heart feeling. Yes, and good point that what you said that like you allow yourself the heart to lead. But the mind is important. It's the part of the team, yes? Yeah, and yeah. making that integration, yeah. yes? That's how, you know, we make the best decision in our mm -hmm. life. And we yeah. trust ourselves, as like you trusted yourself because you allow that heart to lead, but also like mind were invited. And it's like telling you, yes, what's going on here? Yes, mm -hmm. what are the pros and cons? Yes, yeah. Yeah. and that also logic is super important. And like I always like, you know, say to people, it's not just hard that you rely on, yes, because that will be just the flow and like no action, yeah, yeah <laughs> no yeah. like goals, but allowing both sides, yeah? yeah, and that's also the feminine and masculine, yes, it's exactly represents the same when you allow yourself to feel, yes, that feminine. And then masculine is telling you, is this right? Is this okay? Yes. And making that, you know, adjustment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So wonderful. And Nanette, tell me, what would you like to share with other uh, people? Like why, why the program was so like beneficial for you? And uh, yes, like what would you like to say? Yes. To other people watching? Well, it, it was a journey. I, I, have to admit that at times I was a bit hesitant. It's like, oh, I, I, I was, I guess, fighting against um, what you were trying to do. But then I thought, no, you, 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 she's trying to help you to your goal. So just absorb it, like surrender. Go with it. Yeah, yeah, surrender and just go with it and see how you how you feel and um um and i realized that i like 
um, with that session where, where I had that breakthrough with the baby, it's like, um, that made me realize like, yes, it is working. It just, just let her lead you to that. Like mm. it, 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 go with what she's saying and just, yeah surrender <laughs> exactly and like you are also you know sharing right now that even during that first call you said that like you you rely on your feelings how it feels to you not the mind yes like yeah it feels good mm -hmm. yeah? yeah and yeah. that's important okay if you can say some like words like for people right now like inviting them yes to the program tell me like why would you like invite someone and like you can say like you know not to me yes but like in general yeah, yeah. well say it your yeah. <laughs> it works <laughs> that's all i can say it it, it works so. it really works yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling right now when it comes to uh, love and relationship yes for you what changed for you not the relationship that you have like yes with that particular partner but like in general like how does it change for you well it, the future looks good that's the yeah that's the that's the biggest thing i guess and like now and the future that it's it's great yes and I remember that at the beginning when we had that first chat, you like were holding back your vision, your like dreams, yes? Very much you were so scared to like open up and like during the program, you also like open like, yeah, I have that dreams, I have that desires, I know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. And you are a very independent person, yes, Nanette? Like yeah. you've been single for a long time, but also like how you manage like your life and everything. You like, you learn how to be independent, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. And, and it's like, it's easy to make, you know, adjustments say, it's like, it's okay, I'm fine, yes? But then I ask like, fine is not enough, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fine is not enough and like what you really want to make your life, yes, full yeah, of that, lights, that, yes, sparkle. What I, what I initially told you is that no, I'm, I, I know that I'm good on my own, but it would be nice to have a partner. <laughs> yes, it would be nice to have a partner. And almost like for me, it's like, are you asking me if that's okay? <laughs> yes. Where it's like later, like you really claim that. So yeah. I really want to, you know, honor you, you for the like big steps and, and sharing your story because it's like, it's amazing, yes, lots of breakthrough and a massive mm -hmm. outcome, yes. And yeah. I wish you all the best, yes. I Thank wish you. you like all that love that comes from you to that person, yeah. And making your dreams further and further and further. Because we know both that this is just yeah. the beginning for you, yes. Yeah. It's the beginning of your new life, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It and is. I actually want to say that, like, I had that feeling that, like, you were rebirthing yourself, yeah? <laughs> Not that future child, but also yourself. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I, I, do have, I do have a different outlook now, so yes. Yes, exactly. So, lovely. Thank you, thank you so much for thank sharing you. your story. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Always my pleasure. Always my pleasure and uh, yeah we will be in touch anyway yes because yes. i'm really okay. like curious to to see your journey not mm -hmm. without spying on you or anything like that <laughs> but the most important is that we are here to inspire other women yes and no matter where they are yeah, what mm -hmm. they experience it's so good yes to to do that work to do that program and really break through any yes limitations yeah <laughs> thank you so much lovely again have a lovely yeah. day yes take care and lots yeah. of love <laughs> bye 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 <laughs>